Hi, my name is Shai Schmelzer, and in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to embed a visual app in Oracle Cloud application using Oracle Visual Builder. We'll go through several steps. The first step will show you how to configure the application in Visual Builder to allow it to be embedded in other application, how to remove surrounding Chrome from your application template. Then we'll show you how in Oracle Cloud application, you can use the page composer to configure a specific page. And then we'll show you how to pass parameters from the cloud application page to the embedded Visual Builder application. We start with a simple Visual Builder application over here that lists patterns. You can create patterns over here and we list the patterns that you created. This application has an application level variable called owner name. And you can see that this is an input variable that we pass on the URL when we're calling this application. We then use this variable in two places in the application. One place is to filter the list of variables shown on the first page, and then the other place is as a default value when you create a new entry. What we're going to do for this application is in the application settings under security, we're going to allow this application to be embedded in other website. And again, this is done at the web application level settings. The other thing we might want to do with the application has to do with the user interface of the application. As you can see, the application itself, we are using the default Visual Builder template. There's a title and a footer for our application. When we're embedding this application in other places, we might want to remove those. Those are, of course, defined in the shell page that is the template for this web application. So we're just going to remove those two sections, the header, as well as the footer from this shell page. This leaves us in the design view with just the core content of our application. And now we're ready to take our application, stage it, and then we're going to also publish it. So we'll have a URL that people can access uh, the application at. So once the application is published, we're doing it with an empty database in our case. If you go back to the list of applications in Visual Builder, you'll be able to click on the live and go to the URL that is your application's URL. The other thing is, as we said, we have a parameter that is called owner name that we can add to the URL of the application over here. And then when we invoke it, we only show the values that are for this owner on the first page. And in the second page, we have a default value in the owner field that is based on this parameter. All right, so this is the URL that we need to now embed inside an Oracle SAS application. Let's switch over to Oracle SAS and the Oracle Cloud applications, and we're going to log in. This instance is already configured in a way where we're using the same username and password for both Visual Builder and the Oracle SaaS environment. Uh, this is a single sign-on and allowing us to uh, remove the need to re-sign in when you're accessing a VB app. Inside the Oracle Cloud application, we're going to navigate to the page where we want to add our Visual Builder application content into. Uh, this is specifically in the details that we have about a specific person. So you go to the directory, for example, this is the HCM application. We can look up an employee, find the details about this employee, click on him and go and see some basic information about the employee. So in this page, we might want to customize it and add a place where we can also see the list of patterns that this employee created. So we're working right now in a sandbox, which is an area that allows us to edit the application. And this sandbox is configured to have the page composer capabilities in it. And we're going to invoke the page composer on this page. And then we can switch, for example, to look at the a source a view, which allows us to quickly select items in the page through the source. And we'll click the selectable also to allow us to then go over, click on areas on the page. We'll see them in the source structure below. And we can decide where we want to add our content. So we pick the area 
we go into edit mode for this area. And then in the structure over here, we can add components to the page. So for example, right over here, we're going to click the add button, the little plus sign, and we're going to add a component to that area. The component is a web page, so we're going to choose the web page over here. We can close this dialog, and now we can configure that area. So simply click on the area, right click on it, and you can go into the edit mode. So in this dialog, you can specify the URL to the application you want to invoke. Okay, you can also give some other information such as the name and um, a short description. So we're not going to use the default that is in here. Instead, we're going to call our application. But we want to do one more thing, which is we want to pass in a variable to our application from this page. So because this is embedded inside a specific page, we can go over and access over here all sorts of page parameters and uh, items that are bounded in the page. Okay, so let's pick up from our binding parameters in this page. We can see the list of fields that are actually shown up on this page. And for example, we can pick up the name. And this is how we can refer to the name in the URL that we specify for a page. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over and again, pick up the URL to our application paste it over here, and then add the question mark and the name of the parameter for our owner name parameter equal, and then the value that we get from the field. So this is how we pass a value from our SAS page into the Visual Builder app that is embedded inside this SAS page. Okay, we can now close this dialog. We added our functionality. This will update over here. We can then um, basically uh, be done with our editing and close our editing session. So now when the page shows up, we can see our patent application embedded inside the SAS page. Again, this doesn't have to be one page, it can be multiple pages that we navigate to. For example, over here, we can go over and put in information about a new patent that we create, and we can see that the owner name has been defaulted to us based on the parameter we passed, which is the name of the employee that we are working on right now in this page. When we click Save, we'll see this patent because it was listed by this employee. If we'll now navigate inside our application and go to another employee, uh, to see the details, we'll get the same application, but because we would now pass in a different employee as the parameter, the patent wouldn't be listed over there. So let's go over, for example, to Joe Green over here. And you can see no patents are listed for him, but the application still works here. We can insert a patent for him if we want to. And of course, if we would navigate back to the employee where we already listed a patent, we'll be able to get that value. So let's look up Shai again, click on the name, go to the page, our content, the VB application shows up with the patent we listed before. 